Do the encounters in your D&D game feel like they just drag on? Do you wish your players could play more cooperatively while still keeping everything in order? Have you wanted to shake up the moment-to-moment -moment beats of your combats? I might have a solution. Let me introduce you to something I like to call Group Initiative. This is a way I've been running initiative in my home games for a while, and it seems to work out pretty well. So, how does it work? You still follow the normal rules of combat where you have your players roll their own initiatives. You write all of them down, and then you roll the initiatives for who they are fighting, with each type of monster they are facing going in the same initiative. You then put everything in order from highest to lowest. Normally, this is where you would just go turn by turn with each character taking their own turn in order. This is where group initiative comes in. Instead of each player getting their own turns, you group up players who rolled similar numbers with the groups being divided by the enemy initiatives. Say you had a band of goblins, orcs, and ogres all roll 15, 10, and 7. All players who roll 15 or higher go together, all players who roll 14 through 10 to go together, all players who roll 9 through 7 go together, and all players who roll below 7 go together. During each player's group's turn, they can decide whichever order they want to go in within their own group. Using this variant rule, not only have I seen an increased speed with each round of combat, I've also noticed a trend I like to call Battle Buddies, where each group sees who they're working with and forms strategy based off their abilities. This is especially great as a DM because the players who are ready in their group can go first if they know what they want to do, so the players who need more time to figure out what they want to do can wait till later in their group to actually take their turn. A fun side effect of this is as enemy groups get removed as combat continues, you can then combine player groups so the players can work together with different people than they started the combat with. If you want to get really wild, you can also have the players take their actions between each other. So, your cleric can heal your down paladin, then they can cast a buff spell, then the rest of the group can move all together, and then they all make their attacks. While this variant of initiative might require a little bit more focus from the DM to keep track of everything, I found it can get pretty easy to get the hang of it and the results are worth it. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, feel free to try it out and let me know. Do you have any rules or changes that you have made at your table? Also let me know. Either way, here's an inspiration, and I hope you have a nice day.